call them RTs for short. They are respiratory therapists. These are the men and women who help with breathing and life support problems that a patient with heart and lung difficulties may be suffering. They work at the direction of a physician who often factors in an RT's judgment when determining a patient's care. You have to be a caring person that is willing to work hard, very uh, detail oriented. There is a lot of details in patient care and so uh, you have to be willing to work hard and pay attention to every detail that needs to be taken care of for the patient. Meet Jeffrey Thompson, who directs the respiratory therapy program at a major Georgia hospital. I think that if you know you set out to do something like this, that you, you got to put your nose to the grindstone for a while. Respiratory therapists work with patients suffering from a variety of pulmonary problems, including pneumonia, asthma, emphysema, and heart disease. Nice, slow, deep breaths. They know how to use life support monitoring equipment as well as the latest in technology for delivering oxygen to help a patient with troubled breathing. Now you can find all of this in a brochure, but Thompson says it's a better idea if you really want to see the frontline action of respiratory therapy to try a little job shadowing. I think that to job shadow, to understand it, they probably need to spend a good three or four days uh, and do a three or four, you know, three or four shifts with a therapist to really get a good idea and get a full gamut of it because there's pediatrics, there's emergency care, there's neonatal medicine. So there's different avenues in respiratory therapy and I think that um, they should try to at least touch on each one of those, you know. It's a different day for a therapist that works in ICU than a therapist that's doing pulmonary rehab. So there's a gamut and they may need to see what they would like the best to see if that niche could fit them. Now education is one thing, but there is nothing better than hands-on experience. Students will spend a great deal of time in a hospital following real respiratory therapists on the job. Clinicals is a big part of the respiratory program here at Georgia Northwestern. You get to experience everything. You learn it in the book, you um, come to the lab, you learn it even more, you put your hands on, and then you're out there in the clinicals within the second quarter of the program. We ask them that they'll shadow and just get to know what they're exactly getting themselves into and see if they're really wanting that, you know, high-paced, you know, environment because um, it is very, very fast-paced. Uh, we move around a lot in the hospital. We're on every code situation. We, you know, pretty much accept um, responsibilities to all patients who are um, cardiopulmonary um, and having difficulty. Xenia Bratton directs the Respiratory Care Technology Program at Georgia Northwestern Technical College. There is a growing need for respiratory therapists. As the baby boomers get older, the demand for their respiratory health care will increase. And respiratory therapists are likely to see more responsibilities in the future, including case management and disease prevention. Right now, about 80% of the jobs are in hospitals. You will likely find an RT in the respiratory care, anesthesiology, or pulmonary medicine department. The majority of the time, therapists will graduate um, and they'll work in the hospital settings. That's the majority of where your, your work is going to come as a respiratory therapist. A lot of times, you can uh, work as well in home health care, or you can work in rehabilitation settings, or doctor's offices doing pulmonary function testing and other testing with pulmonary patients. Majority of the time, we'll work in the hospitals and you can work whether in acute care settings doing therapeutic and diagnostic procedures or you can work in intensive care settings working and managing the life support machines which we also call mechanical ventilators and you can work with patients who are um, not breathing for themselves or not able to um, have their lung functions as, as appropriately as they should so from intensive care to emergency room to you know acute care floor from infants you know who are lungs are immature to elderly whose lungs are diseased. And we're all over spectrum, all over the hospital. Now there's a strong future for a good paying job as a respiratory therapist. The U.S. Labor Department predicts an increase of about 21% in the demand for qualified RTs over the next few years. I believe respiratory therapists play a big part in the medical field. Everybody has to breathe and uh, nurses deal more with the medication portion of it where respiratory therapy deals with um, teaching how to breathe or how to handle um, the respiratory issues. Starting pay generally depends on the region in which you decide to work. 
You can expect that first paycheck in Northwest Georgia to be around $17 to $20 an hour. With those wages increasing, the closer you go to Atlanta for work. If you go closer to the city of Atlanta, you may start out a little bit more per hour. You can also have um, shift differentials, which are um, any time that you'll decide to work on weekends or night shifts and other you know, alternate shifts except for day shift, you'll get actually extra money that way as well. An associate's degree is required to become a respiratory therapist. Training is offered at many technical colleges in Georgia, such as Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Respiratory therapy is also offered at many universities, medical schools, and by the armed services. The attributes of a student would come when a student's very interested in a lot of, early on, very interested in math and sciences and interested in taking care of people. To enter a respiratory care program, you must be 17 years old and have a high school diploma or a GED certificate. Also, once you graduate, you must pass several exams to be licensed in your state. Every state requires respiratory therapists to hold a valid license except for Alaska and Hawaii. To be sure your education is accepted by your future employer, check to see your school of choice is fully accredited. The respiratory care program at Georgia Northwestern Technical College is fully accredited by the Commission of Accreditation of Allied Health Education Programs. And the college is fully accredited by the Commission on Colleges of the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. And that's so that we can award the Associate of Applied Science degree. So, do what many students have done in considering this as a career choice. Definitely look up your options. Um, see what's available, sit in an orientation for it, sit in a class, and um, research it. And if you'll pardon the cliche, when you do become a certified respiratory therapist, you'll feel a certain sense of accomplishment that will hit you like a breath of fresh air.